पूर्णमिदम पूर्णमद पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवा वशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 नमस्ते I thought since my talk was competing with another talk which had a religious theme I might as well start with something that is quite a popular shloka from uh, Ishavasya Upanishad In fact on 1st of June when in Sydney we had a Rotary International Convention it kicked off with uh, recitation from Christian Hindu Islamic uh, Buddhist and Jewish faith and the theme of that particular convention was global peace and fortunately i was invited to do a reading on behalf of the hindu faith and i started with this uh, shloka it uh, appears that what we discovered in this uh, wonderful land has application all around the world and it has a application in our day to day lives so when i was invited by vcci and bma and samasti institute and we had a bit of a chat on what topic should it be one thing was clear it should not be a it topic so it had to be something that will be of relevance to all of us as professionals so we decided on the happening of integration and its value to our professional lives and we carefully selected these words and uh, i'm going to take you through these uh, 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 four dimensions of uh, this evening's talk now ma'am how much of time do i have 45 minutes that is something else i learned okay uh that's fine okay this presentation this sharing is a part of uh, professor dr shekantaya memorial lecture series and i did go through the various wonderful presentations that have taken place as a part of this series so i would like to start by acknowledging professor shekantaya and also the fact that how honorable i feel that i am given the opportunity to share my thoughts under this particular umbrella we are professionals we have a value system we are very keen for integration but we are also desperate to make it happen so we are going to look at each of these four aspects you know living in sydney australia for almost 30 years i carry my indian identity over there and we always find ourselves representing india especially when we are walking on the streets of sydney or that can happen in new york or wherever it is and i can tell you that in the past few months every indian in sydney is walking 10 feet tall 
the whole atmosphere is electric the visit by namoji and the fact that he presented what he had to in that same all phones arena in sydney has just ramped up india for the rest of the world and we are saying come make in india sam pitroda spoke this morning using video link talked about innovation we as a part of baroda management association as a part of any management association and any management faculty are keen to talk about innovation we have to offer a professional to the rest of the world when we say come and make in india it has to be a multi dimensional offering which includes a nice infrastructure a legal and financial system engineering medicine law science especially with india sending a uh, mission to the mars all of this we are offering but in my humble opinion at the core of what we are offering is you and i we are offering to the world a professional a professional is a person who has certain niche expertise but is not limited to that expertise a person who has who has belonging to a professional association who has a code of conduct a set of ethics some things that could be followed could be understood something that he or she would commit to that is what we are offering to the world when we say come make in india and i don't want to talk about the past glory not that it was not there not that it is not there we might have done some great things 5000 years back like that particular shloka that i read out to you but it has a application today in what you and i present to the world so a professional is you and i and we have to sharpen our expertise as we offer it to the world so what is it in non technical terms that we do right from childhood right from kindergarten we are competitive i am a student of shreyas vidyalay which used to be in front of polo ground and in fact my highly respected teacher is in the audience and i do remember learning gujarati and english from him one of the reason why i am acknowledging my teacher is that was the first person who told me directly and indirectly that i don't have to compete he brought to me a value system which said i can be what i am without necessarily pushing someone else behind to my late father who was a station master at baroda station ages ago that was a learning experience because for him i have to stand first for my father if i get 99 out of 100 in maths was a disaster but my teacher changed the dynamics competition is necessary competition cannot be avoided but competition needs to be balanced by something else and we sometimes carry impressions that can be very confusing for example we might feel and i used to feel that 
I have to have passion in doing something, like sharing these thoughts with you. And that I have to use my passion in order to compete, in order to do something better than what the next person is doing. But as I grow, as I mature slowly, I realize that passion is a completely different dynamics to competition. Imagine you are reading a nice book, an enjoyable book, nice evening sunset over Lakshmi Vilas Palace, which is what I do. I climb on my terrace in Kashi Vishwanath society. I listen to some good old Hindi music or a classical rag or read a book. No activity is happening. I'm not jumping, I'm not dancing. I'm steady, but I am passionate. Some of you might be good painters, others might be good singers. Someone might enjoy sewing a, a, a piece of cloth together. Passion, because you are lost. You are not worried about whether I can do better than you, whether your output will be up to scratch or not. You are in a different dimension. German thinker and philosopher Rosa Luxemburg has a very, very beautiful quote. Live life with passion like you would burn candles at both ends. That passion has no competition. You are on your own. That's one of the key of a professional, a good doctor, a good engineer, a good lawyer, a good manager, a good accountant, a good architect, a good pharmacist, is lost in their work, which is a big problem for the husband or the wife. If the husband is lost in work, the wife, wife says, you never look at me. But that is a passion that needs to be understood, nurtured and made to flourish, especially in a management faculty, especially in a management environment. The other important aspect of uh, professional is analysis. You take all these professionals that I mentioned to you, a doctor and an engineer and an accountant and a lawyer and a pharmacist. Take, for example, um, a chemical engineer or a pharmacist and you tell them, here is a rose flower write me a couple of pages on this rose flower then that professional will put that rose flower in some acid reduce it to its elements document it nicely for you and me and present it to us and that's necessary in my introduction you heard i am one of my expertise is related to analysis. We break things down, professionals break things down in order to understand them, in order to correlate them, in order to provide value around them. If we stick to only analysis, we are not integrated because we are handling only one part of the coin. So what is the other part? And I'm only giving you a word which may not entirely reflect what it is, but it is synthesis. A professional on one hand does analysis and a professional on the other hand does synthesis. A good doctor, and I'm very proud that my daughter in Sydney has just become a doctor, and what I find is that in the initial phase, there is a full analysis of what the patient is, his or her characteristics, dimensions, dynamics. 
but unless the doctor sees the patient as a holistic entity the treatment is not complete and while allopathy is the norm but i believe i don't know but i believe that the ancient ayurvedic and also the chinese traditional medicine treated the person as a whole so when it comes to say flying a boeing airplane and i have a very dear friend in the audience who is a pilot and who flies air india planes and comes to sydney you don't look at one wing one tire one joystick you know you, these are all analysis these are all small parts you need to bring them all together you need to gel them all together and that's how a professional works so that's uh, my understanding of who is a professional and that is the professional who is going to offer value when australia or us or uk or china or singapore come and make their things in india so now let's talk about value i'm going in the reverse to reach happening here so it is a very very subjective thing i was interviewed once in sydney as a as a known indian if you like in quotes and i was asked 20 questions and i was asked to answer them in one sentence or in fact one word if possible so what is the cuisine you like i was asked what food you like and i answered lala kaka na bhajiya now i tell you what that's my value system if you look at the value system composition it's made up of uh, food it's made up of music someone says what music you like and i say hansa dhwani and my daughter says what was that daddy so hansa dhwani is one of the nicest karnataki rag that i am in total love with value systems change what is of value to you and me sitting here in vadodara is of no value to someone in mumbai and that's fine we are not passing any value judgment on the value we need to understand that as professionals we have to be aware that the person in front of us might have a completely different value system